um, whilst I'm out <laughs> burning um, I thought I'd do a quick video so I'm in Blackpool as you can see there 24% 4,004 miles I'm about 47 miles from home so I'm gonna see now just to see the uh, self-charging kit self-charging capabilities of the car so what I'll do is when I get home I will redo the video again well I will uh, pick it up where I left it leave this one and I will show you what percentage I've managed to get back in the car and I'll uh, give you an update right um, second portion of this is you can see there I'm about two-thirds in to the journey uh, back I'll do a quick one when I get back but as you can see there uh, 4,038 miles, I started at 4,004 if I recall, 25% battery, I'm now on 49%. Fair enough, I was on 50 something miles per gallon, I'm now on 31, but I think that's pretty good going considering I've been on the motorway and that's doing 65, 70 for the past 30 ish miles. So, um, I think that's a good trade-off if you want to uh, recharge your battery a little bit yourself rather than having to use public chargers so um, yeah I don't think it's a bad trade-off at all um, as you can see here it's not too too shabby no, where is it I'm using new menus you can see the, the usage and on that I've been using me the uh, climate control is set to fan speed 2 and 20 degrees. Um, wife's had the heated seat on as well. So it's been using electric as well whilst I've been going. But yeah, so you can see there, like I said, it's charged itself up nearly 25% on the two thirds of the journey. So I'll do another video when I get back to conclude uh, and show you exactly how much it's recharged itself. I'll just give you this little intermission and uh, show you what I'm up to now. See you soon. Sorry, I will uh, give you this quick little quick note that I did notice. When I did the first video, um, I did notice that obviously on the A roads it did recharge a lot, lot quicker than the motorway. Um, as you can see there, I've not even got off the services and I'm at 1%. I've just pulled over quickly just to chuck that little bit in. Um, so yeah, um, obviously motorways will charge it a lot slower, obviously. Uh, so if you're going to do it yourself, around town, you'll be better off. See you soon. Right, everybody. Um, I'm about a mile from home, but I'm just going to do the conclusion here. I've just pulled over. So as you can see, I've done, what, 43, 44 miles in total. Um, I'd have done 44, 45 by the time I get back. As you can see there, the car has fully charged itself back up to the uh, SOC that I set it to at 70%. Quite happily done that actually, um, quite surprisingly. I've um, seen a few videos where people said it just wouldn't be able to do it. So I thought whilst I'm out tonight, I'm going to give that a test with the roads being nice and quiet. Perfect chance to do it. Obviously in a normal situation, you're not going to be doing it to this extreme but just know now that um, if you're in a pinch and you haven't and you want to run around in EV mode or whatever it takes your fancy like um, and you, you you like me you don't like using public chargers because they're a complete uh, scandal and ridiculously priced um, you can quite happily charge up yourself for the cost of a little bit of fuel yeah, the miles per gallon does take a hit, but it is, mine's climbing up back on its own nicely. Um, so, um, yeah, there you go. You can see there from this video, you can quite happily recharge yourself back from 25 to 70 with ease. And I say that because I, I, I found the car didn't struggle doing it, despite you um, hearing the engine running. Uh, quite vigorously, but in this scenario you are quite literally forcing the engine to run non-stop But yeah, um, hope you enjoyed the video 
and um, hope you've all had a great Christmas and continue that into the new year and you have a fantastic new year so um, keep on driving everybody and I'll see you in the next one